Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. From the title of this video, you should know what our discussion of today is. Selfish reason I got married. I'm going to be listing some reasons why I singled my husband out of the rest of people that were coming from my aunt and married. Yes, a lot of people marry for different reasons actually. We marry for love, we marry for money, we marry for security, we marry for passport, we marry for children, we marry for a thousand reasons. Yes, but today I'm going to be singling out some of the things I picked out when choosing, when I chose the husband I got married to today, okay? So if this is your first time, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, okay? You can also turn the notification bell on so as to get notified whenever I post a video. Come on, let's get started. So one of the reasons I got married to my husband and it's because my husband was so obsessed with me. Ah, gosh. This man was so obsessed. Obsessed with me. This man calls me like 10 times in one hour. So now I ask, are you sure this man has something to do? Are you sure this man is not jobless? He's not jobless like this. Like, I don't understand this call. Like, my husband calls me so much. He sends me any time. He gives me money. You know, love is giving, you know. So, yeah, yes. It's not like I'm being materialistic. materialistic. But I believe love is giving. If you love someone, you just give. Just, you want to even give your life for the person. <laughs> so my husband, he eh, gives me recklessly, like, anything I ask. Then the latest blabbery came out. Was not, that was blabbery touch one. Like, I was among the first Nigerian that had blabbery touch one when it came out. Like, when, that week that blabbery touch one came out, Mosban bought touch one for me. The one that is slide up. That one is touch one, right? Yes, the, the slide. That one that is, yes, yeah, slide up. Yeah. That was my first blackberry. Then when I see people using blackberry, I feel like, oh my God. Oh God, when? God, when? This God, when did go reach my tongue? But, eh? For this life, there's no blackberry I did not use in this life. I was changing blackberry every two to three, three months. Any one that come out, you'll be the one that like, hey, buy this one, sell that one, buy this one, sell it, take the money. You know? I was like, I still like this one. Sell it now. This one is fine now. Cove one is fine. Buy cove one. Buy both one. Buy both two. You know, it would next thing will carry me to shop right to go and buy another type of blackberry. You know, so this one was just back that like, bass book, back, back, bass book, bass book, left, right, and center. It was just sharing with this love. So I yeah, mm, I singled him out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people were coming from my anime marriage also, and they also they are giving, also they are calling, also they are. But I will tell you other reasons. It's not just one reason. It's not because of the black hair. Uh, there are other reasons also. I'm going to be listing, but these are one of the reasons I chose it. So another reason is my husband is so decent and has morals. Um, um, we all define decency in different ways. So yes, so don't get me wrong when I try to define this 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 sense I'm trying to define now. So it's not like men that smokes are indifferent are indecent, men that drinks are indecent, they don't have morals. No. So and that is the angle I'm going. Yes, I like me, I don't desire to marry a man that smokes. I don't desire to marry a man that drinks too much. He can even drink but not too much. So I realize that my husband I don't desire one that clubs. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'd rather you smoke than even club. No, no, not smoke. You drink than I don't like smoking at all. So um my husband doesn't do any of this. He doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink, he doesn't club, he doesn't um yeah. He smoke not like he doesn't drink like at all. He drinks once in two months, once in a month, once in three months, like Maybe in occasion where you go celebrate for someone, alcohol, you drink, you come back home, you know. But it's not like addict, addict to drinking alcohol. It doesn't, he doesn't drink and he doesn't smoke. You know, he doesn't smoke at all. Weed, cigarettes, shisha, whatever. He doesn't, he doesn't even club. Even as a student then, because he was a student of Namda Zeku University in Anambra State, Oka. That's where my high school too. So he doesn't do any of this. I was like, even as a student, the youth, the youth club, he said he doesn't club. And I don't club. I've never clubbed in my entire life too. So I think that also sync with my belief system also. I was like, okay, okay. Number two, mm -hmm, you're obsessed with me. Mm -hmm. You don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't... I say, hope you don't humanize. See, because, you know, men, if they don't speak, they don't smoke, they don't club, they don't... Are you, are you trying to humanize that? <laughs> but trust me, I was an FBI. Well, my husband didn't even notice. In fact, he might come across this video. 
I have to tr- oh, should I even say this? Because I, I want to know this man more. Let me know what I'm getting into because I don't want to get stay married and at the end of the day I will regret. Like I was I I was I was monitoring, I was tracking, like I, I don't know if I should say this. <laughs> every every calls, every emails, every phone numbers, every SMS that was coming to my husband was also coming to me kind of without him knowing. I just want to get to know him more. I know I, I try to invade in his privacy just to just to know him more. Because I don't want to get into something I'll get into tomorrow. I will now rush that rush that see it. I don't have I don't have I don't have power. I'm not just get wild. I'm not just get strength for wild. So I actually <clears throat> did that for a couple of months just to know who I'm gonna marry to you get I stop so mm, yeah he, he doesn't even know <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying is no no it's oh my god god forgive me I did that but oh uh, yeah so I try to really like that is one of the part of the conviction that ah okay okay you don't humanize you don't humanize you don't smoke you don't drink you don't okay 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 so that aside number three my husband did not like I got married to him because he did not get he did not come with too many baggage. I will explain that. My husband is is the last in the family of eight. Mm. Yeah, my mother-in-law is a champion. Four boys and four girls. Yeah, he is the last born. Yes, he's the last born. So no no much responsibility. You know some home where you get married to the first son or second son or third son, where the third, fifth, seventh, eighth son is waiting for you to pay their school fees, to pay their rent. You won't even have your own time to take care of your family. And in terms, when you now get married and you, they don't get the adequate care they used to get before, they will now face the wife. And so the wife influenced the brother-in-law, the brother not to be given anymore. The wife is a bad woman. The wife is a witch. The wife is this. The wife. You know, you know, some families are like that. Some families you get married to, you will not have peace of mind. Some sister in laws not be there. I want to come holiday to my husband, my father, and my brother's house. And when they come holiday, uh, they will just relax. So the wife will do the cooking and clean and all that. And if the wife tries to talk, they will go and tell the brother and the entire brothers and the entire sisters that the wife, oh, the wife is a witch. Oh, the wife is so. Such drama. Mm -mm. All my brother-in-laws, they are like, they are like big boys. You no, know, if you want to chill with the big boys, go to my brother-in-laws. They are big. You know, when you're big, you're big. <laughs> the, what about the ladies? The ladies are mighty. My husband is tall, but the siblings are all, both boys and girls. They are all, I say boys and girls, I see they are still <laughs> young. Both men and female, boys and girls. Yes, I don't mind. Boys and girls, they are all tall. They are all of them are taller. Even the girls, even the boys, they are taller than my husband. My husband is tall, but they are all taller than him. Both boys and girls. So they don't even like everybody mind your family. Yeah, hey. Unless you bring matter for us, we we'll go sovereign. But everybody did their own. And they treat me like this last born, you know, small girl, you know, small girl of the family. You know, that, that's how they all treat me. So coming to that family, I mean like Okay, 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 okay. Yes, no competition when it comes to sister-in-law thing. Because all the sister-in-laws, they are always looking at me. In fact, some of the sister-in-laws, they have their kids and, and me, they are even the same age. So, like, they see me as, like, one of them. Like, my baby, you know? And this is one reason I was like, okay, okay, okay. This one is another point. So, another thing is my mother-in-law. I When I got married to my husband, even before I got married to my husband, when we were still dating, and um, I was like, how, do, how is your mom like? Is that, his mom does not have problem, you know? It's just, what do you expect? Will you say his mom has problem? So, I need to see for myself and confirm. So, when we went to visit the mom, and uh, we slept over at the mom's place in her bag, the mom was staying in her bag, so like, this woman is so nice this woman is so nice this woman as in she doesn't like to invade your privacy she she everything she apologizes for everything she if she wants to correct me she corrects me with love you know even when we finally got married as a new wife then this do you mind can you imagine this mouth those mouth will be eating like we eat one meat to remain in the pot in the plate sorry it will bite more show my beer you bite it and open, open your mouth. You put me in the mouth and say, "Hey, even if you start that, <laughs> this woman is so low." And the way he treats me, he was telling people, "Hey, look at the small girl, oh, that is my father. small one." I don't know. I don't know. The small girl is not for the insulting part of small girl. Because why? Why would we call you all? 
your daughter in a small game. Like, you could be the one with a little not to say to me, we just managed it. You could be the one with a little, hey, he was just telling people about me. This woman, Papa, has been when she came to my house to when I gave birth to my first child. The way I pampered her, hey, chineke, this woman, hey. Hmm. When she was leaving, I wanted to buy the whole world and give her. She was she she still talk about it today. You know, she doesn't allow me to enter the kitchen. You say kitchen is my department. She, I, that's my problem. She cooks, she serves us, she gives us ah, the woman gives me peace of mind, sha. Like no problem. The woman has zero worries. I can't wait to even see her. Honestly, I can't wait for her to come to Canada. She gives me zero worries. So this is some of that. So when I saw the mom. Uh, her facial expression, uh, the way she talks to me with so much love and affection, she's not even pretending. You know, this is not pretending. This is who she really is. You know, there's people that are pretending, you know, they're pretending. They're just pretending to, okay, my, get married to my husband, my child. Let me not give you, let me not show you the main, my main character. You get me? But she was not pretending. Heavy. She was just so real. I just love her so much. Another reason why I got married to my husband is that we share the same faith. Yeah, so one of, most of the suitors, like, there was one I would have even gotten married to before my husband, who was a medical doctor. But the only reason, it was so nice, it was everything nice, nice, nice. But the only reason I didn't get married to this man, that I just stepped back, was because the man was a Catholic. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I hate Catholic church or Catholic people and all that. But, you know, this is marriage we're talking about. I need to, I need to share the same belief system with you, the same faith with you. Catholic is like a doctrine that you need to, you know, if you're not in there, you like, you be lost. You know, the old Maria play, praying, Maria prayers and all that, that I, I don't even know how to recite it. And come, coming into marriage, you know, you will be totally lost as if you, you know, I just do not want whatever that will shake my belief system, contrary to what, you know, I just do not want that. So... Um, that was the reason why I didn't marry that particular man. So when I got, when I, in fact, that was one of the reasons, that was one of the questions I asked my husband, what church he attend. He said, though their family is Anglican family, their mom still attends Anglican, some of the sisters attend Anglican, but she attends Winners Chapel. I was like, okay, that's fine. That's, that's fair enough. You know, she, he attends Winners Chapel, so I was like, okay, that's fair enough, you know. So, it's not like I, I'm, I'm condemning Catholics. I have a lot of Catholic friends, too. You know, even one of my sisters, you know, go to Catholic church, too. Because the husband, he got married to a Catholic man, so he goes to Catholic church. So, it's not like I'm against them. But I just think that's something, someone that will share the same belief. You get what I mean? Someone that will share the same belief system with me. And um, I feel like my husband, yes, he goes to Winners, so... Winners is a, do we call it Pentecostal church or what? So, but we share the same faith and belief system and doctrines with me. So, um, that works for me. You get my point? So that works for me. What else am I touch? Am I not touching base on? Okay. Another last reason is my husband is someone that has, is a man that has prospects. Yes. You know, getting married to my husband, the first thing, like anybody that, that is close to my husband in Nigeria, in Canada, you my hus you you will never tag my husband to be a lazy man. You always call him call him an hustler. Like my husband, <laughs> my husband is someone that thinks ahead of the future. He's not a lazy man. You know that's the main that okay you don't have now. But how is your plans like in five years, in three years? What are your goals like? What what are you doing now? To work towards that goal that you want to achieve. Are you just sleeping there and just chilling? And uh, the goal will come when it will come. God will send you to say, What effort are you making to achieve that? So that is my husband. My husband is someone that is very hardworking, that loves to, is a provider. I call him a provider. He loves to provide very well. He loves, yeah, he wants he want to work. My husband is someone that gives me this open check. Okay, if you want to work, fine. If you don't want to work, well, like me. And I'm bragging, stay at home, do what, God forbid. You know, I say I want to work. So, yeah, whatever you want to do, he encourages you, but it's like a provider. Just chill, let me provide. Even if you're working, don't, uh, your money is your money. My money is our money. You know, that is his mindset. So, um, he, he's not a lazy man. You can never, you can never in this life tag my husband a lazy man. No, it, it can never be possible. He's a man that likes to provide and he hates to borrow. Uh, that man has never even borrowed in his life. <laughs> My has never borrowed. My husband has, even if my husband borrowed, maybe it's me. And this man, 
there's something my husband does. I don't know if it's good or bad. When my husband borrows me money, he gives me back. The first day he borrows me money, like, hey, please give me just 2k. I want to, you know, it's something as small as 2k. Even in Canada, my husband will borrow me $5. What is five dollar for? I said, eh, hey, take the five dollar I borrowed you. I was like, hey, oh, keep it on the table, you know. And he wants you to do the same. He can give you one million dollars, one million naira, but once you open your mouth and say, borrow me two dollar, please pay back. That's how to end your trust. <laughs> if you want to end your trust, just pay back. And hey, look at the two dollar I borrowed you. Eh, hey, if you and you know that you not say, oh, this, I forget it. No, you collect it because you said borrow. If you say please dash me two dollars, it will give you. you say I beg, and I will not get hundred dollars. Just give me, just give me hundred dollars. Just give me, it will give you. But once you open my and say, "Borrow man, please pay back the hundred dollars." Even as a wife, pay, I used to pay back. I I let I let the ad way. Like I did that two times. I didn't do it again. Even before before after we got married, though, you know, I will say, "Borrow me ten k. I will give you back. You will borrow and I will not get as husband. I will not give back. Let us you give. Wait wait wait. Why the ten k I borrowed you? Like, they ask me for thank you. And even before, after the thank you, you must have given you even numerous money after then. But it wants you to always, like, stick to what you say. Like, keep to your word. If you say something, do it. And that is my husband. If you borrow my husband money, even as a wife, like last week, he borrowed me $10. <laughs> he said this, that I don't have cash of $10, that he doesn't have cash. I was like, give him $10. Do you know my husband had to go to the bank and let her withdraw $10? <laughs> Let her withdraw ten dollar and say, look at, I see where you get ten dollar. I say I went to the bank. You see, because of my ten dollar, you went to the bank and withdraw the ten dollar and give me. I say, you see, no, nice borrow. I say, no, what is what is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You know, that is just my husband. So, um, is the man that sees the future. That you know, coming. I, I just want to talk about something, but let me just hold it there. It's the man that sees the future. Oh, just, let's end it there. It's not lazy. It's hardworking. It's family oriented. It's nice. It's sweet. It's godly. I'm just trying to wrap everything up. My husband is so so godly. So so godly. When we were trying to make our trip, um, to abroad, our first destination was in United States for years and all that. My husband had to see the face of God. My husband went to church. He he did fast, dry fasting for. Six days, six days, no food, no water. I'm, I kid you not. I have not done. I've done one day dry fasting. I've not done six days. I do six to six, six to three. I've done one day, but just once in my entire life. And yeah, this just one day fasting. Following that, I broke the fast. My husband did six days. Is it? I don't want to lie. You, I beg. Is it six days or five days? Between five, four, I can't remember. This was about. This was about four, four, five years ago. Okay, six years ago. So just when we were about to leave Nigeria, he just wanted to see the face of God. And he said, I'm going to church. I'm going to stay in church. I'm going to off my phone. If you have any emergency, just leave me a message on my phone. I'll see it. He just wanted to, I was like, this is, this is, this is what I call a man. He went there, see the face of God. And when he got back, he was like, let's carry on this journey that God is with us. That was how we started. And everything was just smooth, you know? Coming to abroad, I was eight months plus pregnant. In fact, I gave I gave I gave birth. <laughs> I gave birth in, in in United States like two and a half weeks after I landed. That is how much heavier I was. Went to interview like that with Big Tommy, and you know, everything was just pa 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 just because he's sick in the face of God, you know. So he's a very godly man, he's the man that takes God first before anything else. You know, so I love my husband. My husband is a total package. Like, God just packaged this man like this. Just package him like this. Wrap it like this and say, hey, give it to him. I'm so grateful to God for this wonderful man. Yes, I'm so grateful to God for his life. For, for giving me such a wonderful, such a God-fearing man as your husband. If you marry a God-fearing man, trust me, God has given you everything. Because a God-fearing man will not beat you. A God-fearing man will not cheat on you. A God-fearing man will always do things to make you happy. And that is my husband. So, um, yeah, that is just it. Yeah. Am I leaving anything untouched? I don't think so. So, that will be all for this video. Please share my video. Yes. <laughs> yes, please. Even if you don't know me, share. Don't share this video. <laughs> share this video, okay? Like, share, subscribe, okay? I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.